In care time, a job is a patient, client, or consumer. In this video, we will show you how to add a job using required fields. In our advanced video, we will cover the job section in more detail. Start by clicking on jobs from the left menu bar. You will see the list view which shows all active and inactive jobs. Click on any column title to sort the list. For example, if you want to see all of your jobs in alphabetical order, click on the job name column. In order to search for a job, type the full or partial name in the search text box in the upper right hand corner. In order to add a new job, click on Add Jobs. All items in red are required fields. First, enter the name of the job. If you notice a box turning red, then you have added a character that the system will not accept. For example, slashes and semicolons are not accepted characters. If the system detects duplicates, a warning message will show. Click on Yes to continue. Click the drop-down menu to associate the job with a zone. If you cannot find a zone, type a few letters and the system will narrow the search for you. Click on Next to go to the next tab. The care time address entry screen is connected with Google. Type the street address and the system will narrow down the choices for you. Please select the applicable address. If the address is a duplicate, the system will show you a warning message. Click on yes to continue. The zip code, city, county, and state are all automatically populated fields. Please make sure that the time zone is correct since all calls will be recorded in the jobs time zone. Add an authorized phone number. This is the home phone number of the job. Then click save. You have successfully added a job. You will then be taken to the list view of all the jobs. If you need to view job details, click on the view icon. Here you can view job details such as basic setup, location information, advanced details, notes, activity codes, custom prompts, and authorization history. If you need to edit job details, click on the edit icon. Here you can edit the basic setup location, advanced details, notes, activity codes, custom prompts, or authorization history. We hope that you have found this video helpful. Please remember to watch Job Advanced to see more features and functions.